Hey, so um, I just got another urge to turn the camera on and I'm still not I'm still not in the place to sit here and pick a certain topic and just ask Eric question after question. It's not feeling right. It's not feeling good. It's not feeling like a natural flow. Um, and I don't want to do another tarot read. So um, what I'm going to do is do another pull from a quote and then just hear what Eric's having to say about that. I don't know how long this video is going to be, but I'm just going to do it. Oh, um, how's Eric presenting? Still. Okay. Still, he's wearing red t-shirt, black jeans, white socks. Oh. Oh, sorry. His feet are bare today. His feet are bare. He's showing me green fumes coming off of his feet today. So this is indicating that they're smelly. I'm just happy that he's not influencing the smell of them on me right now. Because that's... Um, <laughs> Eric Smells has started to come online for me. <laughs> that, uh... That's, that's kind of a first. Um, I have, there's been a couple times where I've smelt something, but it's now it's consistent where certain smells are starting to come on. And I'm just like, Eric. <laughs> so I am thankful that I do not smell smelly feet right now at the moment. Um, so <laughs> he's wearing his hat. I didn't mean to, I just had a visual of him. So he's, yeah, he's sitting behind me. His face is right here. Face palming him again. <laughs> My hands tingly. Yeah. yeah. I can feel <laughs> he's pushing his face in my head. Stop. <gasps> just lick the palm of my hand. Don't. <laughs> um, but I didn't even mean to. I had a visual. I just like pulled like the brim of his hat down. And uh, he's, he's I'm like, don't look at me like that. He's giving me a, really going to mess with my hat? Really going to mess with my hat? No, I didn't mean to. I'm sorry. <laughs> so, okay. And I'm really working on looking at the freaking camera part. I have this laptop that I want to be able to start using. I just don't want to have to sit on my ground, on my ground, on the ground to use it. Because like, honestly, I don't have, I don't have a good setup. I don't have a proper setup. And uh, it's just, I don't have the space to be able to use my laptop to film. Plus, I need to find the cord for it. I kind of got that all mixed up within the move. So, yeah. Anyway completely irrelevant um <clears throat> so yeah um I'm really trying because I'm just I'm so used to like looking around in this area and then so when I look in the middle I end up looking at myself plus Eric influences me looking at me so um I'm trying really not to look at myself when I'm talking I'm trying to remember look at the camera look at the camera so okay so Eric let's um pick a quote here and talk about it He's saying, all right, what, no, what did he do? He goes, all right, yeah, I, I went to think that he was going to shimmy. It's because he did, he chest shimmied a little bit earlier and I forgot to mention it. Um, but right now he's like, all right, babe, let's do this. Let's do this. Okay. All right. I'm going to get it to it. Okay. Turn it up, turn it on this time and flip from this end. Okay. Ah, that doesn't feel right doing it this way. Okay. Well, not that it doesn't feel right. It's just, it's awkward because it's flipped around. Okay. I don't want to, I don't want to talk about that one. I don't want to talk about that one. It's too dense. It's too dense. And it's just, sorry, Eric, I'm going to make the decision and say no. And he teased me at raising his eyebrows at first. And I was just like, I'm sorry. And he's like, no. And he's actually, I'm being applauded right now. And they're like, you have the free will to make that decision. Just because I picked that quote, if you don't feel like talking about it, you don't have to talk about it. Let's pick another one. Okay, thank you. I appreciate it. And he's like, you're welcome. He's like, go with the flow. Do what you feel like doing. Okay. All right, let's try it again. I'm still doing it from flipping from the way he wanted me to, but it just... And you know what's funny is I actually felt like I wanted to stop a minute before that page or go one more, but I didn't. I should have. I should have. Either stop before that or go on one more. I should have. Okay, here. Okay, I like this one better. There we go. I like this one better. Um, uh, 
Aww. Actually, I like the one above it and under it too. Okay, I will talk about all three. Um, <clears throat> so the first one is, um, I'd never give up my family, not for all the chocolate in the world. From Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. Um, so Eric, what are you saying to that? He's saying, beautiful. It's beautiful, babe. It's beautiful. He's like, breathe. Eric's saying, Saying yes, okay. What's the material? What's the material? The chocolate in this quote is representing the material. The material is fun to play with, but it's not truth. Love is truth. Accept and bring in love, and everything else follows. Dang, yes, family. It's all about family, babe. All about family and love in the moment. Everyone starts to realize that. Welcome home. Ding, 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 ding. <laughs> um, okay, and then actually, so the quote above it kind of goes along with that. So um, it's a quote from the Princess Bride, and it says, Not even death can stop the bond of love. And Eric's going ding, 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 ding. And Robin's kicking in. And actually, it's interesting. Robin is kicking in because the quote underneath that um, under like the not underneath that one the quote that's underneath the Charlie and Chocolate Factory one so the third quote that I'm looking at is from what dreams may come hi Robin um so it's sometimes when you win you lose sometimes when you lose you win and that's so funny because I've had this quote in my head for the past few weeks I'm not rewatch. I just watched it. I'm not watching it I'm not watching it again I'm not watching it again I'm not doing it um <laughs> Robin's going oh why not tally girl <laughs> Okay, so Robin is presenting, he's in about his, what, late 40s? He's presenting like he's in about his late 40s, and he's wearing his blue Hawaiian shirt, khaki shorts, his thong sandals, <laughs> and he's like, he's up on stage, he's up on stage, he's got a microphone, um, and uh, I'm just... He's just, he's on stage and he's just talking like he's doing a stand up. Um, <laughs> um, okay. So I'm just rereading. Okay. So sometimes when you, when you, sometimes when you win, you lose, sometimes when you lose, you win. I'm asking Robin to expand on that. And I'm just re saying it again slower for myself to click, to make it click in a bit more. Sometimes when you win, you lose. Sometimes when you lose, you win. So Robin, what are you saying to that? I'm saying, oh, my tally girl. You always win. You always win. The quote should be more like, sometimes when you win, it feels like you lose. And sometimes when, but always when you lose, you win. So, Eric's going, ding, yes, you got it. Okay, so, breathe. Robin's pointing out, that when everything seems like it's falling apart that's actually really beautiful because you're being presented with a blank slate you get to build up you're always winning because everything is happening for your benefit and the benefit of all and i'm confirming with eric eric's going ding yes um <clears throat> and then to back up Sorry, I just kind of skipped that the other quote. Not even death can stop the bond of love. So now that Robin's in, the reason why that reminds... So I know it's from Princess Bride, but the reason why it reminds me of Robin is because him as Mork. I have a small clip that I had recorded of him as Mork. It's only like 10 seconds maybe. And um, it's him saying... Um, oh, just give me one second here. Hang on. Okay, so... Realize that love can extend beyond universes, even beyond death. Realize that love can extend beyond universes, even beyond death. Realize that love can extend beyond. You realize that love extends beyond universes and even beyond death. Not, not even death can stop the bond of love. Love is endless. Love is eternal, and that's why you always win. Because it's always, always, always about love. It's just our perception and indulging in the illusion that's telling us that it's not. 
I'm a mess. I am sorry. I just, I'm showered and everything. I just, I, this week has been really hard, you guys. <laughs> it's kind of reflecting a little bit, but anyway, um, love can't be stopped. That's what this all is. That's what reality and everything is. It's all love. We always win because it's always about love. And when you allow that to come online, it's so, it's, it gets easier and easier and easier to see it. And the more you accept that, the more it comes online. It's all about love. It's not about the material. It's not about all the chocolate in the world. It's about love. We're all family. We're all connected into oneness and it's all really beautiful. Um, I'm asking Robin about that clip from Morgan Mindy. I can't hear what he's saying because I'm blocking <laughs> because I know he's teasing me about the fact that I had that recorded and I would fall asleep listening to that at night. <laughs> Literally, I had that on loop and I just fell asleep listening to him say that over and over and over again. That was before I realized he was actually here with me. <laughs> so yeah. Um, okay, so besides that, what are you saying about that clip? I need to breathe for a second. He's having a beautiful scene. Beautiful clip and a beautiful scene. It's very true. Love extends beyond universes and beyond death. He's going, there is no such thing as death. But that illusion of separation and the illusion of death, that can't even stop love. Going, my dears, my dears, my dears, my dears, my dears. It's all about love. It's all about love. It's all about love. And you'll see that. You will see that. It's all about love and you will see that. You will see that. You will see that. And I love you. I love you all so much. Peace. Go on kisses. Um, <clears throat> so it's all about love. Um, and then the last quote on this page the last quote, they just had me look at the last quote on the page and it's from Lilo and Stitch. Ohana means family. Family means no one gets less left behind. I think, do they add or forgotten in there? I can't remember, but I have it ending at left behind. And I have it ending at left behind for a reason. Either that's where the quote ends, but I can't remember. Um, it might expand a little bit, extend with sing or forgotten, but I can't remember. But it was meant to be on left behind. No one gets left behind. No one. We're already, already a new earth. Everyone's already their higher selves. Everyone's just navigating a certain level of oblivion or amnesia right now. And that's ending. It's literally ending right now. New earth is, is here and it's coming online right now. No one gets left behind. There's, there's talk about some might not make it in this life or whatever. But again, that's looking within linear time. And that's disregarding the fact that they chose to exit in order to help continue ushering, allowing new earth to come online through that end of things. And then they meet up with us still anyway. No one gets left behind. Everyone's playing their roles exactly beautifully. And again, because we are all family and it's all about love. How, why, how would, how could we leave any of our brothers or sisters behind? Especially when we love so deeply and that's just it. Dang, yes, babe. Humans, so Eric's going, humans have not understood what love truly is. It's been beautiful to watch humans work within their perception of what love is, but that's not true, beautiful, pure source love. There's pieces of it and there's reflections of it and that pure source love always flows within it. But it's been a more dense version of it. And now the purity is coming online. And it's so fucking beautiful. So fucking beautiful. So fucking beautiful. It's all about love. We're all family. We're all connected into oneness. So, ding, yeah, Eric's going. Eric, you want to step in and say this? Ding. Ding. Eric, right now, this is Eric. So for any one of you who are looking at anyone else out there and you're going, he's a fucking bad guy. That person did really fucking awful shit. That person's this, that person's that. This person needs to be in jail. That person needs to be put, uh, put down. 
<laughs> put down death sentence, whatever you want to call it. <laughs> like, what? <laughs> so I'm laughing at him. <laughs> He's like, ah, no. Ugh. Keep my phone in place, please, people. My chair's a little bit of a mess. Disregard. <laughs> um, okay, what were you saying? Oh, I was teasing him and he was bugging me back. Um, okay, what were you saying, though? Like, what were you actually saying? He's going, if there's anyone out there that you're looking at and you're fucking judging, you need to fucking stop. Fucking stop. Be ready to fucking stop. Why are you judging? Why are you judging when you know that there is no judgment? So why are you? And don't judge yourself for judging. Really?